Christmas is only almost 361 days away and most people have Christmas decorations. It's funny. In that case I will show you the way I made this lovely Christmas tree. I started, of course, by rethinking the design. Here are the assumptions I followed. First, power. Second, principle of operation. Third, lightning elements. Fourth, switch. In addition, I decided that all elements would be surface mounted and the wall would consist of a two-part module. The first part will contain the executive electronics and the second part will have just LED diodes. These modules should be connected together by soldering them together. I started classically by creating a layout diagram. It is an unstable multivibrator circuit, thanks to which the diodes located in these places will flash alternately depending on the capacitance value of the capacitors and the resistance of the resistors R1 and R2. Then, using the auto routing option, I created a PCB where the tracks, well, are not a 90 degree angle to each other. Here I started by finding the right shape for my board, converting this file to an SVG file, and uploading it to FreeSync. I arranged them on the board, connected them and added soldering pads on the bottom. Finally, I exported both boards to Gerber files. Then I ordered red and green boards and a stencil for the Christmas tree as always from PCBA. Now my favorite part, unpacking the package. I have to admit it looks interesting. Then I prepared myself all the components and tools for soldering. All elements are in the 0603 housing, so no one should have trouble soldering them. After soldering the elements to the first PCB, I prepared a solder paste and a stencil. I immobilized the PCB, applied the stencil and sprayed the soldered paste. I put the diodes in their places and soldered them using a hotter station. The only thing left to do is solder the two PCBs together and put the battery in its place. <laughs> 